Hi, and thank you for taking a few minutes to watch this short video. My name is Levi, and I will be presenting a short overview of the Concord Web Portal. The Concord Web Portal is the web interface used by both administrators and users to access information about their account and traffic. In this video, we'll focus more on giving an overview for an administrator of the system. You can access the Concord Web Portal through the customer login link at the top of the Concord Fax homepage. Once inside the portal, you'll have three navigation options available to you. Dashboard, Reports, and Settings. The dashboard is the default display when logging in, so let's start here. The dashboard will provide you with insight into traffic patterns for your company, as well as your fax number inventory. On the left-hand side, you'll see a chart overview of your company's traffic. You can enter in any date range right here, and then you can display those results by hour, day, or month using the drop-down menu here. Additionally, you have the option to sort by inbound only or outbound only. Below, the map displays your top destinations for faxing. You can zoom into any area and hover over any pinpoint to see details on location and number of pages sent. Your fax number inventory, up here in the top right, shows you an itemized list of all the fax numbers you have listed by location. Any numbers in this unassigned columns are numbers that your company has privately held that are not yet assigned to a user. Assigned fax numbers are ones that are currently being used by a user, and pending numbers are ones that are currently porting into Concord. To add new numbers to your fax inventory, simply click the Request Inventory button. Choose your location, area, and area code. Here you can choose one or more numbers and simply click Add to Inventory. Now let's take a look at the Reports tab, starting with Outbound Activity. Under Outbound Activity, you'll be given the opportunity to search your company outbound traffic. Simply enter in the date range you wish to search and click Search. That'll display the outbound activity for that time period. Now you can also notice I have an additional sub-search right here that would allow me to create more specific searches. I can search by the sending email, fax number, or even the country code to refine these results. These sub-features allow you to do specific searching by user or area. For example, I could do a search for a fax to a specific number or all numbers to a region that failed. If I click on a specific fax job, I will see three navigation options, Details, View, and Resend. The Details tab gives me information about the recipient, the sender, and the fax itself. The View tab allows me to see an actual image of the fax itself, and the resend option allows me to resend that fax to the fax number I originally sent it to, or a new number by simply typing it in here. The view and resend option here are available only during your company's image retention policy. Under inbound activity, we have the opportunity to do the same searching. We can refine by date, and assign our subfilter, and then click search. If I click on a specific fax, I can see details about that submission, for example, this is an inbound transmission we received by email. The resubmission option allows you to resubmit the fax for delivery to the user's email, folder, or application, depending on how your account is configured. The Accounting tab offers you consolidated monthly reports in CSV format. These will show you all fax transmission information for your company. Reports are available for the past six months. These are great to use for rebilling or back billing. Now let's take a look at Account Administration under Settings. Here your company is displayed by hierarchy. You'll see my company here, my different departments, and by clicking on a department I can see a sub-department and users within that. You'll notice two types of accounts within the Account Administration setting. Administrator accounts, as indicated here with the asterisk next to the username, and regular user accounts. User accounts can send and receive faxes where administrator accounts have access to make account and setting changes. For example, if I click on this administrator, I could see details about them, and I could also give and take away their rights for administration. At any level of the hierarchy, I can right-click or click on the cog icon, and I'm displayed with a list of options. Here is where I can assign default settings for that area, as well as add a user account or add an administrator account. 
It's as simple as clicking Add User and going through the prompted details. If I want to make custom settings for a user or a department, all I have to do is click on them, and I'm presented with five options. Under the User tab, you can see specific details about this user. The Facts tab is where I can assign a fax number to them or change their current number. This is also where I assign their sending email and assign settings for how their inbound transmissions are delivered. For example, this user is receiving faxes by email. I can set up to three email addresses for inbound deliveries. The Cover Page tab allows me to make custom cover page settings for their account. If you would like to learn more about different cover page options and settings, check out the cover page video at concordfax.com forward slash video. The Notification tab allows me to set notification settings for both the queuing and delivery of faxes. And the date is where I would set a custom date and time for that user. All of these options and settings are available at any user level as well as department or sub-department level to create default settings for all users below. Lastly, let's take a look at number porting. Here you'll see a list of numbers that you already have that you're porting over to the Concord network. This process can take a few days to complete and this section enables you to submit those ports online and get status information for any port you've already submitted. By clicking on a port, I can see details, leave and receive notes with customer service, and upload files. To request a new port, I simply hit New Port Request and fill in the prompted information. Thanks for watching this short video tutorial, and please be sure to check back to concordfacts.com forward slash video to see additional video tutorials.